I don't think I need to worry about it now because I think everyone had support conversation with everyone else. Yes, um... Mercedes is which, um, Prisoner is which Solvang. Right, he has one too. The Doom, you're which Annet, I think? Yeah, okay, so Dimitri, you are do you have support which basically everyone, so I don't have to worry about you right now. Then Shaz has one which... Everyone. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Alright, we don't have to worry about those. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. There's no one else, right? Yeah. What does successive training do? Just begin training, why not? Alright, Myrmodon's finished, mastered, and so is the... Alright. Okay, so... let's see. Acquire class. Roderick, you are done with... Bishop, go with Dark Bishop, yeah. No, and Ash, you're done with Thief, aren't you? No, you're done with Mormon. Don't give you Mercenary. Alright, train, but swap you to be. The mercenary and swap you to be Dark Bishop. Alright. Begin training. Uh well Mercedes is done. Quite class for Mercedes. Uh, my right, cavalry first. Support? No, okay, I haven't gotten any support yet. I think I can do successive training? No, you know what, just better do the regular one. Felix and Ash got to support level C. New support conversation available. Oh, wait, didn't we say Felix and Ash? Oh, Felix and Ash doesn't have a support. So the only one we have is Dimitri and Mercedes. You know what? Do it. Why not? Thank you, Dimitri. 
I'm sure the clergy will be pleased to hear it. I'm incredibly grateful to you for coming to the church's aid, you know. Most of those people would have ended up homeless if not for your actions. As I recall, you fled from the Empire yourself at a rather young age. Yes, and it was awful. We had nothing to eat and nowhere to shelter from the wind and rain. If not for the priest who helped us, I don't know what would have happened. <sighs> Are you alright, Dimitri? You seem sad. My apologies, Mercedes. But may I speak plainly? You don't need my permission to do that, silly. What's troubling you? I have been wondering for some time if accepting the Central Church was the correct decision. By giving them shelter, I have also given the Empire the perfect excuse for invasion. You took them in because you thought it was the right thing to do. Isn't that so? Yes. The Church of Seros is deeply entwined with the Kingdom's history and politics. The Crown's authority is granted by the Church, which also takes part in governing our villages. Were I to sunder that connection, nobles and commoners alike would be furious. The Kingdom would be split anew, and chaos would reign. Hmm, that is a tough one. It seems like you're going to end up with a fight no matter what you do. Well, at the very least, I know the townspeople are grateful. But I also know it's not as simple as all that. I'm sorry. That probably didn't do much to help ease your concerns. No. I should apologize for making you listen as I prattle on endlessly. Oh, nonsense. If it helped you in any way, I'm glad to do it. Well, I certainly do feel better. Thank you, Mercedes. And please know that I am here for you for whatever reason, no matter how small. Alright, supportable seat. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Yeah, do a success successful training. All right, don't really need it because Sylvain Master Life Taker. What the heck is that? Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. All right, uh, we gotta check what Life Taker is. I only remember what it is. So, all right, so you finish Dark Mage. Do Dark Bishop next. I got forty-five Master Seal. So, go go nuts, guys. No. Uh, let's see. Train. Go, which. Dark Bishop. Alright. New support conversation available. Nice. Uh, let's see. What does Sylvain have here? What's Life Taker? Restore small HP when the enemy commander is defeated. Ho 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 ho! Yes? Okay. Okay. I'm willing to give up on 500 HP for Life Taker. Now, uh, we have Rodrik and Ingrid. The Doom, you and the um, Annette. Okay, so hold on. Alright. Ingrid, you and Rodrik. Okay, you have once you have two support. Alright. I think I remember this one. I have exhausted most of the Pegasus core. So how should I advance the mounted units on the ground? A tricky proposition indeed. The enemy general won't be foolish enough to miss a chance to seize the advantage here. If we are going to face the enemy with our remaining troops, it would be best to have the mounted units take a formation in the narrow pass to the east. Then, the remaining Pegasus Knights can attack from the cliffs above and end this quickly. Still, my scouts claim there may be archers stationed on those cliff tops. Naturally. Everyone knows to expect Pegasus Knights as soon as they see the standard of Galatea. The enemy will doubtless be ready for this. 
Yes, it is quite the predicament. I cannot help but wonder what my father or brothers will do. As someone who commands an army of Galatea, withdrawal is not an option. I don't think you need to rack your brain over this too hard, Ingrid. But if we fight without any sort of strategy, we will suffer major casualties. Which might prove to be in your favor. If the enemy sees your back to the wall, they may let their guard down and grow reckless. How many Pegasus Knights stand ready? Nearly half. Perhaps more if their wounds can heal in time. Then select the most skilled from among them and make for the clifftops. And fly into the jaws of their trap? While using the speed of the Pegasi to minimize injury, make it look like you're taking a desperate retreat. Then you draw your troops. If the enemy thinks they've subdued the famed Pegasus Knights of Galatea, they'll deploy troops from their main fortress, leaving them lightly guarded. Once they do, send a separate unit of your remaining Pegasus Knights to capture it. Hmm. Yes, that just might work. You are amazing, Lord Rodrigue. I suppose this comes from your wide range of experience. Actually, it's a strategy suggested by your brother once upon a time. My brother? Oh, that's right. I believe he served in Sprang while he was still a squire. Despite his low rank, he astonished us all with his clever suggestions for deploying our flying units. I have a long way to go if I wish to live up to him. I must prove more diligent about studying strategy. Very ambitious. My son could stand to learn a thing or two from your example. But you ought not overextend yourself. Make certain to rest those wings every once in a while. I wouldn't be able to face the Count or your brothers if I allowed you to work yourself to exhaustion. Resting my wings is a rather difficult proposition. I can't very well write about playing games as I did when I was a child. In any case, I thank you very much for the advice. I think I know how to proceed now. The pleasure is mine, Ingrid. This is a most dangerous strategy, so let's endeavor to make sure we both come out of this alive. Ingrid Rodriguez, support the seat. New support conversations available. Between whom? Shaz and Sylvain. This is gonna be Sh Sylvain hitting our Shaz, isn't it? Yeah, I knew. I just know it. Well, well, just the gal I wanted to see. I've got a bit of a favor to ask. You know that special sword you fight with? Well, I was wondering if you'd let me take a peek at it. Sure. Sure, if you want. Can't say I expected this kind of interest coming from you, though. It'd be one thing if it were Dimitri or Felix asking. You know how they get about weapons. But you? You do remember I'm the heir to House Gautier, don't you? I've been studying the art of combat ever since I was just a kid. Well, you always skip out on training, so... Anyway, here. This work? Sure does. What a weird sword. You know what it's made of? It doesn't look like iron or steel to me. I couldn't tell you. Honestly, I have no idea. What about how you can make it appear right out of thin air? Is that some sort of magic? Nah, not exactly. It kind of just comes to me when I call it. Well, that's vague. <laughs> One more question then. Would I be able to use your sword if I wanted to? Mm, doubt it. The thing vanishes the second I let go of it. But hey, why do you want to know so much about it anyway? I 
I guess I was just thinking how nice it'd be if there were more weapons like yours out in the world. You know, a hero's relic can take down hundreds or even thousands of soldiers in a single swing. Depending on who's doing the swinging, of course. But as soon as the wielder dies, that's it. If you don't have a crest, it's nothing more than a fancy-looking hunk of whatever they're made of. Of course, that wouldn't be an issue if everyone could just use a sword like yours. Maybe so, but that doesn't make it possible. I mean, there's still so much even I don't know about it. Right. It's not like you can just make a second one or something. That's actually a pretty interesting idea. You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? Hey, you're talking to the future Margrave Gatti here, remember? Of course I think about this kind of stuff. After all, us nobles wouldn't have nearly as much work to do if everyone could fight with the relics. And then I could spend all my time flirting with you instead. Yep, there it is. Yeah, not interested. Don't make me tell Ingrid about this. Harsh. Though I do like that about you. <laughs> Come on, let's see that sword of yours a little more. Alright. Cool. I need to finish the bl blue lion support as soon as possible. That way when the golden deer and black eagle joints, I can have more freedom to, uh, to get their support done. I, uh, I'm responsible for doing, uh, donating all, uh, marching orders. Give me a shot if you, uh, the deploy. Alright. Mace, I already have some money, some resources, some gifts. Alright. Enemy level 106? What? There's the maddening. Alright. If we... 100 is uh, a lot more than I thought it was going to be. If we have trouble, I'm not above switching back to... Um, switching back to... to uh, what would you call it? Switching back to the... Um, Ash, you are pretty good. Okay, you are pretty good at this. Okay, hold on. Sylvain, Annette, Ingrid. Hmm, Rodrigue, hold on. I haven't really used Annette a lot in this one, so switch Annette in here. And, uh, you two have no advantage, so I cannot have you. Get Ash in here. Dimitri has a pretty good setup on the first one. You know what? Yeah, do that. Uh, if we are having trouble, I'm gonna sw swap the uh, the level back to sw uh, to hard. I think maddening is like just plus 100 level on enemies, which is crazy. Absolutely, just nuts. All right, uh, Annette, go deal with that. Dimitri, handle these guys. Ash, go handle um, go handle this one. Alright, they're not taking a lot of damage, are they? fine we're doing fine I'm not aiming for S rank so like I don't really have to worry about damage and time so we're doing fine okay uh oh my god that's a lot of damage Okay, I was I wasn't looking because I was too busy checking out everyone's progress to uh to to realize to not realize what how how bad everyone's doing. All 
Alright, they heal themselves. Nice. Good meteor damage there. Alright, hold on. What does your what does your sting do? What does what does your special do? Attacking moderately fills a unique ability gauge with full presence CR to temporarily strengthen yourself. Oh, strengthen yourself. Okay. Alright, deal with these guys. Oh my god, okay. Alright, Madden difficulty is gonna be a little, diff little bit uh, of a ch little bit of a challenge here. 